Welcome to Unit 4, Lesson 5, Absolute Value Inequalities. So, these absolute value inequalities are similar to our equations, but there is some difference, and we'll see this difference here. If we have the absolute value of ax plus b less than c, we are going to split it up into two different inequalities, like we did before, but this right here, this less than symbol, is very important. If we look at less than, if I can spell, less than, less than, sounds kind of like and. If you have a less than symbol with your inequality, or a less than or equal to, whenever you split this, ax plus b less than c, you're not going to use the word or. We're not going to use that. We're going to use and. So if it's a less than or a less than or equal to, it's going to be an and inequality. But everything else still follows the same pattern as with our equations. It's still going to be ax plus b less than c and ax plus b and it shouldn't say less than, I'm sorry, there's one more switch, greater than the opposite of c. So our c's still switch and something else switches whatever the inequality is here it's going to flip when it goes to the other side so if it's a less than to the left it's going to be a greater than on the right and the same thing applies if we have a less than or equal to it's going to be ax plus b less than or equal to c and ax plus b greater than or equal to the opposite of c. So, if you see a less than or a less than or equal to, it means the compound inequality word is and. And whenever you rewrite it, you keep the same inequality and the same C, but after and, you flip the inequality and you change the sign of C. Now let's talk about the greater. Now these are greater than or greater than or equal to. So it's greater. Greater. Greater depending on how you say it. It sounds like there's an or in there. So if you see a greater, 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 think about or. So here we get ax plus b is greater than c or ax plus b is less than negative c just like with the and whenever we go to the other side of this word our inequality flips and we change the sign of our c second one ax plus b is greater than or equal to c or ax plus b is less than or equal to the opposite of c so, it's the same idea here. Just remember that whenever you go past the word, your inequality is going to flip and your sign of your C is going to change. So let's actually do some examples with these and get out of the theory. So here's two examples. Our first one is the absolute value of x minus 2 is less than 5. So less than means it's going to be 
and so we get x minus 2 is less than 5 and x minus 2 is greater than negative 5 our inequality flips our sign flips for our C and now we just solve these like we would any inequality so we add 2 we get x is less than 7 and add 2 x is greater than negative 3 and then we graph Six, seven, and we shade in between. Okay, the second example we have the absolute value of 3y plus 4 is greater than or equal to 7. So it's a greater than or equal to, that means our word's going to be or. So we have 3y plus 4 is greater than or equal to 7. Or 3y plus 4. We're going to flip the inequality. Change the sign of our c. So 3y plus 4 is less than or equal to negative 7. And then we solve. Seven minus four is three. Divide by three, so we get y is. Oh, went a little slow on me. It's greater than or equal to one. Or subtract four. Three y less than or equal to negative eleven. Divide by three. Or y is less than or equal to negative 11 over 3. So we go to graph. That's a bad line. Here's a better line. Okay, negative 11 over 3. I know that's somewhere in between negative 3 and negative 2. So negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. y greater than or equal to 1 right here and then here's about where that would should be that negative 11 over 3 and there we go so here are two problems that I want you to try in your group so I want you to again pay close attention to what inequality symbols there and make sure that you do the appropriate flipping and sign changing so go ahead and pause the video and try them now. And here are the solution to those two. And I want you to take note that on this right here, on the left, on the right, sorry, you had to do something before you could solve. You had to subtract 5. So I hope that you recalled that. If you didn't, go ahead and take a look at everything. Just in general, take a look at everything. Pause the video and discuss with your group if you got something wrong. Okay, now we're going to do a word problem. It says a baseball is hit straight up, up. Baseball is hit straight up with an initial velocity of 64 feet per second. So we have this equation, S equals negative 32T plus 64, where S equals speed and T equals time. So our plus 64 is how fast we're going at the start. This negative 32 is gravity pushing it down. And what this problem is, is it's a type of physics problem basically. So we're going to do a little bit of physics with our algebra. And the question being asked is us to find values of t so that s is greater than 32. So we want our speed to be greater than 32. We need to figure out when that is. So we need to rewrite that equation. So we have absolute value of negative 32t plus 64 
equals s, but we want our equals s to be different. We want this to be greater than 32. So we want s to be greater than 32, which means that the left side has to be less than 32. So what we have here now is just a problem we've been working on. So it's a less than, so it's and. So we do negative 32t plus 64 is less than 32 and negative 32t plus 64 is greater than negative 32. We solve so we get negative 32t is less than negative 32 divide by negative 32 and we know that when you divide you get you have to flip this so t is now greater than 1 and we solve the other side negative 32t is greater than negative 96 divide by negative 32 which means we're going to have to flip this again we get t is less than 3 so what this tells us is that when it's greater than one second in the air or it's less than one second in the air between one and three seconds our speed is greater than 32 feet per, per second so that's what that tells us